Jing Caleb. This is a coordinated monthly test of the broadcast stations of your area. Equipment that can quickly warn you during an emergency is being tested. If this had been an actual emergency, official messages would have followed the alert tones. This station serves the Sioux Falls area. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 514, effective until 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. This watch includes the following counties in Illinois, Cook, DuPage, Ford, Grundy, Iroquois, Kane, Kankakee, Kendall, Lake, Livingston and Will, and the following counties in Indiana, Benton, Jasper, Laporte, Lake, Newton, Porter, Polaski and Stark, and the following, Winter Harbor to Wilmette Harbor, Illinois, Wilmette Harbor to Northerly Island, Illinois, Northerly Island to Calumet Harbor, Illinois, Calumet Harbor, Illinois to Gary, Indiana, Gary to Burns Harbor, Indiana, Burns Harbor to Michigan City, Indiana, Lake Michigan from Winter Harbor to Wilmette Harbor, Illinois, five nautical miles offshore to Mid Lake, and Lake Michigan from Wilmette Harbor, Illinois to Michigan City, Indiana, five nautical miles offshore to Mid Lake. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging wind, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. National Weather Service in Chicago has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Southern Lake County in northeastern Illinois, North Central Cook County in northeastern Illinois, until 2 p.m. At 1.24 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Long Grove, or over Buffalo Grove, moving east at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour in gusts and penny-sized hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact. Expect damage to roof, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Waukegan, Arlington Heights, Evanston, Palatine, Death Plains, Mount Prospect, Glenview, Buffalo Grove, Wheeling, Northbrook, North Chicago, Mundelein, Highland Park, Wilmette, Vernon Hills, Libertyville, Lake Zurich, Lake Forest, Rolling Meadows, and Deerfield. This includes Great Lakes Naval Training Center, Lake Forest College, and Ravinia Music Festival. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Due to severe thunderstorm warning for 
southeastern DuPage County in northeastern Illinois, east central Cook County in northeastern Illinois, until 2 p.m. At 1.13 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Indian Head Park, or over Burr Ridge, moving east at 30 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and penny-sized hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expect damage to roof, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Chicago, Cicero, Oak Lawn, Berwyn, Downers Grove, Chicago Lawn, Englewood, Bridgeport, Chicago Loop, South Lawndale, South Shore, Midway Airport, West Town, Roseland, Austin, Burbank, Brookfield, Palos Hills, Hinsdale, and Lamont. This includes Brookfield Zoo, Seat Dick Stadium, University of Chicago, Hawthorne Park, Soldier Field, University of Illinois Chicago, Guaranteed Rate Field, Illinois Institute of Technology, The Loop, Museum of Science and Industry, Museum Campus, and Northerly Island. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building, and Chicago has issued a special marine warning for the out to mid lake until 3.15 p.m. At 1.21 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near Midway Airport, or 11 nautical miles west of 31st Street Harbor, moving east at 25 knots. Hazard, wind gusts in excess of 50 knots. Source, radar indicated. Impact, boats could suffer significant structural damage in high winds. Small craft could capsize in suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include Harrison Beaver Crib, 31st Street Harbor, Monroe Harbor, Burnham Harbor, 59th Street Marina, Jackson Park Harbor, Diversity Harbor and Ducible Harbor. The National Weather Service in Chicago has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Cook County in northeastern Illinois, southeastern Cook County in northeastern Illinois, until 2.15 p.m. At 1.22 p.m., multiple severe thunderstorms were located over New Lenox, moving east at 30 miles per hour. Hazard, 70 miles per hour in gusts and penny-sized hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expect considerable tree damage. Damage is likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted include Joliet, Orland Park, Finley Park, Calumet City, Chicago Heights, Roseland, Lansing, Oak Forest, Harvey, Lockport, New Lenox, Palmer Glen, Blue Island, Dalton, Park Forest, Homewood, Alsip, Madison, Mokina, and Frankfort. This includes University of St. Francis, Windy City Thunderbolts Baseball, Shanahan State Park, Chicago Land Speedway, Route 66 Raceway, Hollywood Casino Amphitheater, Governor State University, Joliet Junior College, Joliet Slammers Baseball, Prairie State College, South Suburban College, and Will County Fairgrounds. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The National Weather Service in Chicago has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for North Source, radar indicated. Impact, boats could suffer significant structural damage in high winds. Small craft could capsize in suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include Indiana Harbor, Calumet Harbor, Michigan City, Burns Harbor, Marina Shores at Dune Harbor and Hammond Marina. service in Tallahassee has issued in the morning then clearing uh, if he got five late then he should be posting that shortly northeast wind five to ten uh, miles per hour and Gates if you want to get five Chicago's five test feel free clear. If everyone wants to get my test, feel free to do so. I don't have a problem. I think I have a feeling they might, they're probably going to test 1121, aren't they?
at this time. This station is participating in the test of the Illinois Emergency Alert System. This system was developed to provide information to the public during emergencies. This was a test. until 7 p.m. this evening. Heat index values around 105 degrees. <laughs> 